Hello and welcome to my little channel. Today is December the 8th, 2020. And I ran across this interesting article from the New York Times about how bright space really is. Uh, the title is Outer Space Got a Little Brighter. The universe is not as black as astronomers once thought. That's correct. The universe is a shade too bright. That might be the last news you expect to hear towards the darkening end of a dark year. But that's what the band of astronomers have discovered using cameras of the New Horizons spacecraft that once visit Pluto to measure the darkness of interplanetary space. There's something out there unknown, said Todd Lawyer of the National Optic Infrared Astronomy Research Laboratory in Tucson, Arizona. The universe is not completely dark, and we don't yet completely know what it compromises. Four billion miles from the sun, far from bright planets and the light scattering by interplanetary dust, empty space was about twice as bright as one would be expected by Dr. Lawyer and his colleagues found. The most likely explanation, he said, was that there were more very faint galaxy or star clusters contributing to the background light of the university than their models indicated, or even that black holes in the center of otherwise unextinguishable galaxies were plumbing out extra energies into the void. The less exciting possibility, the doctor said in an email, was that we messed up and missed a light source or the camera artifact that we should have figured out. This is what I worry about the most. It's more intriguing if speculative suggestion involves that might be called cold, dim matter. The universe is thought to be filled with dark matter, which is really interesting. Nobody really knows what dark matter is, but that's an interesting thing. The exact substance, unknown, but whose gravity shapes the visible cosmo. Some theories suggest that this matter could be clouds of exotic subatomic particles that decay radioactivity or collide and annihilate themselves in flashes of energy that add to the universe glow. Dr. Lohr and his colleagues preferred to leave such speculations to particle physicists. Our work is solely concerned with the measurement of the flux level itself, he said in an email. As observers, we offer this up to those that can figure out what to do with it. This other astronomer, Mac Postman, at the Space Telescope Science Institution in Baltimore, and the author of the report, which is published online in November, said, It is important to do this to get an estimate of the total energy content of the universe, which help us inform our overall cosmetic or cosmic history of star formation. For the record, the amount of extra light that they found bouncing around in the universe is about 10 nanowatts per square meter per cetarian. A measurement of solid angle of the sky, it takes 4 pi cetarian to cover the entire sky. Dr. Lair compared the measurement of the light supplied by the star Sirius or an open refrigerator a mile away. To make it a little closer to what we did, you can think of laying in bed with the curtains open in a dark moonless light. He wrote in the email, perhaps you're awake and you're staring at the walls when Sirius clears the mountains or your neighbor raids his fridge, you would see the light in the room get a little brighter. However, he noted that your distant neighbor eating leftover turkey at 3 in the morning is not going to wake you up at night from the glare. Let's see here. They also said that the measurement of the had a 5% chance of being a fluke and that the margin of error is known as 2 sigma is a far cry from the gold standard for the discovery of 5 sigma or 
one chance in 3.5 million of being wrong. Uh, the team's measurement included only light and visible wavelengths and needed to be augmented by radio, x-ray, and infrared background measurements, Dr. Postman said. For centuries, the darkness of the night sky was the source of paradox named after the German astronomer Heinrich Wallum Albers, presumably a infinite static universe. Every line sight ends at a star. So shouldn't the sky appear as bright as the sun? But astronomers know that the universe is only three point I mean thirteen point eight billion years old and expanding as a result as most lines of sight do not end on stars but on the fading glow of the Big Bang and that the wavelengths of the glow are now extended that they are invisible to the eye making the sky look dark. Let's see here. I think that's pretty much it. I mean there's more to it. But I just found it interesting that the space, what they thought, was supposed to be slightly darker. But it's actually a little bit brighter than they expected. Whether it's through anomalies or through particles smashing into each other, radioactivity is actually brighter. So the space is definitely interesting as we learn more about it. And I look forward to what other space news we have. Anyways, that's about it. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are. I smash the like and subscribe button. But most importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening.